Thanks, Claudio. Um, it's a real honour, obviously, um, yeah, to be um, appointed as the uh, coach for New South Wales. Um, well, I guess as a young kid, I've uh, grown up dreaming of you know, wanting to play for New South Wales. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, the career was cut a little bit short, so I, uh, I went the coaching route. Um, and I've been very fortunate to um, cross paths with many great coaches and help me along the way to uh, you know, find the success across, uh, I guess, my coaching career. But uh, you know, I, I find you know, just the opportunity to, to think that I'm actually coaching New South Wales, I am pinching myself. Um, you know, I've been able to coach at many different levels and um, you know, I've dreamed of obviously uh, you know, doing this for New South Wales. So uh, to have the opportunity, um, especially with the, the past coaches, um, obviously uh, understand the ride of what it takes and I've spoke to many of the, uh, the previous coaches, players and uh, current players, so uh, getting a real feel for um, how they feel about it and also to uh, people within the organisation. So. Uh, I'm a big believer of um, that that jersey, the blue jersey is everything. You know, it's um, that's where I'm going to base everything from. Um, to uh, you know, whoever's involved, we all play a part. It's not about an individual, and I'd like to um, probably you could see that from the people that I brought in uh, with my staff, uh, Trotto and myself. You know, we spent a fair bit of time talking about you know, what can we create around the team uh, that allows them to be their best. And uh, I am very appreciative of those uh, the staff members that have joined me. Um, I've got a pass with all of them. Um, Cardi, I've obviously known uh, just as a uh, as a coach across the game, um, you know, and I've got a high respect for him. And he's got a, such a good, great connection with uh, the old boys. I think that's going to be a real key because um, I'm a big believer that the old boys, every time that uh, they see that jersey run out the field, they're going to have a feeling of uh, you know the joys and the rides of what goes on. And um, you know, to Matty King and Brady White, you know, I've been fortunate to have a, a bit of time with those boys at Melbourne Storm and. Kingy followed me across to South and uh, was on the staff uh, when we uh, were fortunate to have the successes there at South uh, in 2014. Um, so I, you know, I've got some great people and Frankie Panisi, um, you know, he came down to Melbourne in 2005 when I was down there as an assistant coach and forged a great friendship uh, in those early days but to see him go on and do the great things that he's done with uh, that club down there and uh, go on the ride of what it takes to, to find success so uh, and all the way to uh, another Sean Edwards, um, you know he's um, you know he's been in a number of teams, but uh, he knows how to connect with players, and uh, you know he's um, you know he, he likes just to find the right performances or, or the ability to allow a player to express themselves within what they're doing. So I guess I've got a, a great experience amongst uh, the staff, which I'm looking forward to um, you know uh, letting loose with the players in time. But we'll get together and spend a fair bit of time talking about the camps and how we'll go about that. And uh, you know I'm, I'm fortunate that I can talk to uh, you know past coaches like Ricky, Laurie, uh, you know, and I'll, I'll connect with Freddie at some stage, you know, uh, so I've got high respect for a lot of those uh, people that, you know, we all want to have the state succeed and I know they do and, and, and I do just as much, so um, uh, really looking forward to what's ahead and uh, I actually can't wait. So your biggest bit of advice from your former boys coaches for you? Oh, I wouldn't say it's advice, it's just the discussions about the, the little parts of what it takes, you know. Um, you know, well, I did actually have some conversations recently with them, and they said, "Madge, it's uh, it's massive. This arena is massive, and um, you'll feel it in time." Um, but I already know that. You know, I've obviously been fortunate to be around a number of the players that have been a part of Origin teams, and you know, they describe it and talk about it. But uh, you know, I've been obviously in the uh, international space now. So uh, one thing I do know about this space is it comes down to one play. It could be one play as the differences of uh, what rocks and rolls are going. Um, so you know, what we do and create as a group. The players, we all play a part. Uh, when I spoke about before about the blue jersey being everything, like we are all here to make that jersey successful, and it doesn't matter whether or not you're a player, administrator, uh, staff, uh, people here in the building, um, everyone in the state, you know, um, and it's everyone out in the country, rugby league. They're all watching, uh, and how we can make them feel connected is by our performance. And uh, you know, if we can deliver the best uh, arena for our players to perform at the best, well, we've we've got some of the best players in the world. We've got all the best players in the world that sit within the New South Wales team. So uh, you know, if we can give that uh, the players the ability to be able to have the right environment, there's no reasons why it, um, we uh, can start well and off we go. How do you go with this with your role at Canberra? Uh, that's going to be quite a reduced sort of role. I'll just be talking to Ricky now. Um, so yeah, my main focus really will be about uh, the Blues now. Did you speak the last couple of weeks of your decision to get Perry to yep. obviously you were passionate about that job too? Yeah. Uh, well, look, unfortunately, things don't always work out the way you'd like. Um, yeah, you know, I still feel that I've, I could have juggled both. Obviously, you know, they're campaigns. Um, it's just understanding that. But uh, look, I re respect uh, you know people's uh, thoughts and 
Uh, one thing I do know is when you're, you're working in a com campaign, everyone's got to be aligned. Um, and look, you know, their, their thoughts are in a different direction, so, uh, you know, I, I respected that. Um, and obviously, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate now that I can go on with the Blues. Uh, you won a premiership with the Rabbitohs, but how, how much has um, what you've done with New Zealand or the time you've spent in New Zealand contributed to the influence of the lives of the Oh, Brad, that's massive. I mean, uh, you know, that, I've been with the, the Kiwis there, obviously, for about five, six years now. And uh, the connection that you have with players, that's the, the enjoyment part that I really get out of you know, it's players, families, you know, who, who lives outside their, their space. Um, you know, and then being able to bring a group of uh, players from all different clubs together in a short period of time, uh, I've really enjoyed that part of, you know, the experiences I've had with the international space and obviously going to bring that wealth of knowledge now to, um, you know, what we're doing moving forward. Uh, and look, you know, I've spent a lot of time going out and talking to players. Uh, you know, they're, they're the key, you know, and uh, the buy-in and that alignment that I spoke about is... Um, critical for the success of where we're going. And, uh, you yeah, that's obviously what I learnt uh, from my time with the international space. A big win too when you took the Kiwis over, they were in 2018, they were like a, a, pre a pretty low spot. Yeah. Obviously, you know, Mark Jones had a record win over the Kangaroos. I imagine that's the type, type of trajectory that you're hoping to achieve here. Yeah, well, that's, that's why I do it, Brad, you know, it's to, to create that. And one thing, that, you know, I, I want to make sure is that, you know, we want to win. That's that's ultimately why you do it. You know, that's that's the key. Um, but to be able to build a foundation and have the staff that we've got, the organisation behind us, um, you know, if we create that, then the players come into the right environment to be able to find their headspace to be able to go and be at their best. Uh, you know, and I always say, yeah, when you've got your best players, you, know, you, you just want to create the environment for those, uh, those men to go out. And really, they don't have to think, they just go and do what they're very capable of doing. Uh, and that's the environment that we're chasing. Yeah. Oh, Bulldog, you've um, probably uh, spoken about me in many different ways uh, you know, on how I am as a coach, and I get that. Um, you know, but coaching club land to international and origin, is, uh, it is different. Uh, they're, they're different beasts. They're different um, machines that move. Uh, look, in, you know, obviously, you know, when you're coaching week to week in club land, you, you, you're pulling and prodding different um, ways of moving forward, uh, whereas when you've got the capabilities of the players that you have and what I found in international, Look, they're, they're the ones that uh, will find their way. Uh, we just create the right environment. So uh, I guess in some ways, Bulldog, you, you probably laugh at me saying this, but I'm probably a little bit more relaxed in uh, this space because you, you're trying to get players of all ages when you're in club land um, and different abilities. Whereas when you walk into this arena, you've got the best of the best and uh, you know, allowing those players to express themselves is the key. Uh, Frankie's enormous. Uh, I, as I said, I, you know, I was fortunate when he first started down there, and uh, I guess everyone's seen the journey that that club's been on. And he just brings a, a wealth of knowledge, but just a calmness around how he goes about what he does. Uh, and yeah, that's one thing I, I do know is that you know, you've got to, it's the people, the people, the team that around, you have around you is the capabilities of where we'll go. And having someone of Frankie's um, nature of being able to be at many grand finals and knows the game, he knows grassroots, he knows everything. Uh, so we can have a great discussions about you know, how we can reach uh, sort of the country regions, even though we're internally in camps, and he's come up with a few different ideas, which I won't share at the moment, about uh, various things that we've got planned to, to be able to make sure that you know, everyone can feel that they're on the journey of what we're about, um, because it's a momentum that you have in that stand. Uh, you know, I've just obviously walked around here and talked about the tunnel, uh, you know, where the players can walk through out into the, into the cauldron there. Uh, you know, they're going to be special moments and obviously someone like Frank who's experienced uh, pretty well everything across the game. Um, he, when I asked him about the, um, the Origin Arena, it's, he said it's one thing that I haven't done, Madge, I'm, I'd, be lo I'd love to. You know, he just jumped at it straight away, along with all the other staff. I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're that excited about, obviously, you know, you, when you start, you, we've got a fresh start, you know, and um, everyone now has the ability to, to, to realign in, and, you know, all of us have got to paint it a vision of where we want to go, but one thing I do know, everyone needs to buy in, and you know, Frankie's one that understands it. Freddie had some real quirky traits with bonding sessions and earthing sessions and things like that. Can players expect something completely different? <laughs> have to wait and see. Have to wait and see. Um, look, I, I think everyone probably knows my style over the years, and they, they see what I'm uh, about, but uh, look, one thing I will do is 
I want to talk to the players. You know, I, I can't wait to. You know, I haven't spoken to anyone. I, I want to get out and start talking to players. And you know, they're the key. I mean, I've you've got the wealth of experience, and they're, they're men that have been in big games. Uh, and you know, a lot of those players have experienced uh, this space. So, you know, if we can free up that, that's going to be a real um, big part of where I want to take the team. Sorry. Well, how much of a collaborative effort was Gibbon with his head coaches? Like, did you hand give them, or was that because you know John Cartwright was mentioned for his job? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, it was all mine. Um, you know, unfortunately, that yeah, you know, I'm pretty transparent when it comes to uh, the people that work in the organisation, and uh, you know, I think John's well. And look, if you look across the staff, they're all in systems at the moment, and I find that you know, especially when you're bringing a staff together. Uh, the staff need to understand how things are moving at the moment. You know, the game changes very quickly and the best thing that I have got is that I've got guys in systems now that uh, are coming from good teams and, you know, they're dealing with players and every little conversation that you're having with a player is important uh, and they're going to be having some really important conversations about how we're going to set things up. So, uh, yeah, it was definitely obviously um, my thoughts about bringing that, that group together. And just going back to New Zealand, how disappointing is it to leave what you had as really long-term Oh, look, it is hard, obviously. Um, you, know, you build a really strong connection with your players and that's obviously that, that's what I want to build, obviously, now with the uh, New South Wales boys. But, uh, look, I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time with the Kiwis and, you know, as I said, I felt I probably could do both and keep it going, but it's not to be. But, uh, you yeah, know, what I've learned and, and what they've taught me, uh, the players, about the connections of coming into a camp and being together for periods of time, um, you know, they've taught me a lot, uh, the Kiwi boys, um, and very appreciative of that as well. Um, but I, I'm going to keep a really open page on where I go. Uh, I think, you know, I'm big on form. You know, I look at, you know, the biggest thing I'll say to each of the players that I can say this is, is just go and play the best footy you can play because that's going to play a part in where we go as a group. Um, you know, when you've got people in really good form and they're coming into camp, you know, with a real positive mindset about how they want to do things, well, I'm, I'm, I go after those players uh, and I'm looking forward to... Yeah, just letting the players go and play now and I'll obviously have the discussions to be able to find ideas around what's going to best work for New South Wales and, and the squad. Um, but I'm also going to say to them is just go and play. Just go and enjoy doing what you're doing and get your bodies right. And when the time comes, you know, we have to pick a team. Is that your way of saying that to expand that your form? That's just a guarantee that you'll be back there again? Uh, well, yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, as I said, I've got a, a pretty open sheet now and that's the, the joys of being able to start fresh and... Uh, allowing the players to not have to think, you know, well, I just want them to go and play. And if they do that, I always say that your performances um, sort things out in time. You're about to be front and centre and break the league's greatest rival rematch. I've got to ask, do you hate Queensland? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where does that hatred come from, Madge? Uh, I've grown up basically watching, you know, um, and I'm just like every young little kid that lives in New South Wales that supports the New South Wales and all oh, Birdos. I was born in uh, Canberra and I guess I was fortunate to come through in the early 90s when you know I had uh, Ricky, uh, Laurie, Bradley Clyde, uh, you know, the great players and I also had obviously Mount Meninga in that stage as well so there was plenty of rivalry back then but um, I'm a New South Wales kid so uh, you know, those, uh, those are the players that, and I'll turn to those players. Uh, you know, they've, they've got a wealth of knowledge in itself and I, I'm looking forward to talking and um, you know, I talk to Laurie a lot. Um, even though, uh, you know, even when he was coaching, I used to, you know, we're pretty close laws, and um, you know, he's, he's obviously spoke to me about the ride that, you know, is in front of me, and I'm looking forward to being able to chat to Laws about, you know, how he did things, uh, because one thing he is, he's passionate, and you know, all, all the New South Wales uh, players, they're all passionate. You know, there's a there's a lot of passion, and there's a lot of passion within the team. Uh, I, I know that for sure because I've obviously I dealt with a lot of the players um, over the last few years. So, uh, you know, we'll bring that passion out, and then bring it together, and uh, look forward to obviously game one here. Mate, you're in Melbourne, and you said you, 2000 through to you know 2000, and until you met Wigan, uh, Billy Slater. What's it? He's obviously a great coach. What's it going to be like to go and meet him? <laughs> oh, I know Bill. I know know him really well. Obviously, spent a lot of time there, and uh, you know he's a smart, astute um, player and coach. So uh, he'll, he'll he'll prepare his team, but um, I'm going to have a pretty sort of internal sort of focus around what we want to do. I think if we get everything right, what we're doing, um, a lot of that. 
external noise and, uh, and, and what's going on will be sorted out. Yeah, I, Bulldog, I mean, I, I don't really like talking about myself. I'm not really that type of person. I, I love being uh, with my players. That's, that's what I, I love, just coaching and, and getting the best out of a player. Uh, and everyone is different. Uh, you use different styles for, for whatever it might be. Um, but I've obviously been around a fair bit now. And you know, the thing that for myself is that I'm very one-on-one -on -one with my player. And then we build a team together. And as I said, you know, it's players, staff, administrators, yeah, the, the whole whole of New South Wales. Like, you know, it's pretty incredible to stand here and think, you know, we've got we've got a state now that we're going to take on a journey, uh, and and obviously want everyone to feel that they're a part of that in some way, whether you're a supporter or, uh, and I want the players and, and myself and our staff to represent that. Do you think Origin's all about pointing around as they suggest now? Uh, no, not at all. I don't know. I've never actually heard that. Well, I'd, um, yeah. We've got some great players that have played for New South Wales, some of the best in the game. So, uh, you know, I'll be touching base with a fair few of those to talk about uh, how much they enjoy winning. All good? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.